Hey everybody, this is Mark, and this is day number 22 of 30 Days of Harp. And I want to play a special song today. It's one I actually played on this channel not too long ago before I started this 30-day challenge, but it's one of the songs that I know from memory, and so I'm going to play it for you. It's called Going Home. You may or may not be familiar with it. The tune is actually from a larger symphony, Symphony Number no. 9 from Largo by Antonin Dvorak. Uh, and this is the movement for the French horn. So it was originally written for a French horn, which I'm sure must sound beautiful. One of uh, Antonin Dvorak's students took this movement and put it to words. At least that's how I understand it to have happened. And it has been sung um, all over the place. It was actually premiered at Christmas time, so some people associate it with Christmas, which seems odd to me because it just doesn't sound like a Christmas song. But it was it was uh, performed uh, over the Christmas season. I first heard it sung by a very talented soprano soloist by the last name of Sissel, um, which I think you probably, or maybe it's her first name, I don't know, Sissel, uh, S-I-S-S-E-L. I think if you look it up on YouTube, you'll find her singing this song. Just, just a beautiful rendition of it. I also have heard David Phelps sing it. I learned it on the harp because I wanted to play um, in hospice um, for people who are at end-of-life care. And I have had the privilege of playing this tune at the bedside of many people who have been on end-of-life care uh, last year, I played at the bedside of one of our, uh, the, the mother of one of our church members who was uh, on hospice, unresponsive, um, verbally unresponsive, but I was able to sit and play for about an hour and a half at her bedside, and this was one of the songs that I played several times. Early in 2019, I was one of the few people still allowed in the hospital that was not uh, medical staff, and they let me come in and play end-of-life care for people not COVID patients, but other patients who were on end-of-life care and their, and their own families couldn't get in to see them. Uh, in this one case, I played for a lady who was there in the hospital on end-of-life care, but was still verbally responsive. She was still conscious. And I walked in and I talked with her. We talked about the harp, acknowledged why she was there. She was accepting of that. And I said, I have a special song that I think you would enjoy. And uh, I played this song for her. And um, she was in tears and I was in tears. It was just such a special thing. I think the harp is so powerful in that way. Um, anyway, I don't want you to necessarily cry um, while I play it. But um, it speaks to something beyond the door of death that, um, that we're looking forward to. And that's why I chose the graphic that's on the screen behind me. Because one of the um, phrases in the song are, It's not far just close by, through an open door. Work all done, cares laid by, going to fear no more. It's a beautiful lyric. And so I love the idea, the open door uh, analogy. So that's why I chose that picture. Anyway, I want to play this for you. I'll play it through a couple of times, going home, and I hope you'll enjoy it.
All right, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow for day 23. Have a great day.